Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanna come on here and talk about the whole Wendy Williams situation. So you guys have been asking me, T, what is your opinion? What is going on with Wendy? So if you guys don't know, the other day, honey, paparazzi caught her in her car with her new boo. And at that point, nobody really knew who he was. She had posted a picture with her head in his lap or some shit. And so they were talking to her and Wendy Williams starts breaking down crying. She's saying that little Kevin is good. She still has to deal with big Kevin. Cause you know, you know, it's still family. Y'all go ahead and check this out. And I'm come back with the rest of my commentary how are you in the family doing you and you and young kevin right young, young kevin and i are fine you know big godspeed and um and you know stuff happens in life and i gotta get on the plane in the morning but i have a very full life thank you for watching I would ask you to respect our privacy, but please, I don't respect people's privacy. That's why I do the hot topics. So yeah. turnabout is a fair game, but um, all three of us are doing fine. Are we? Gonna, are we going to see the three of you guys? I mean, together? Is it even? Maybe not as a married. Yes, yes, of course again. you will. Kevin's got to graduate from college. He's going into a sophomore. All right, so you guys just saw that. All right, so you guys just saw that video. So, of course, once that video went viral, honey, you know social media, bitch. People are nosy as hell. People threw on their damn magnifying glass. And they're like, we got to find out who's this new dude that got Wendy Williams smiling and shit. Well, come to find out this new dude that Wendy Williams is running the streets with, okay, is a 27-year-old felon. This is not being blasted all over the country. It's on E! News, E.T., Entertainment Tonight, all that shit. Wendy Williams is dating a felon, okay? This is what's being reported. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So they're saying, um, Wendy Williams' boy toy is a 27-year-old Mark Tomlin, a financial investor and blogger who was convicted of robbery with a dangerous weapon and breaking and entering back in 2014. Tomlin served 15 months in jail for his conviction. So once that came out, TMZ decided to confront Wendy Williams about, you know, the revelation that, you know what I'm saying, basically she's fucking with this young felon. And this is what Wendy Williams had to say. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So Wendy Williams says, I'm not stupid. I'm a 54 year old grown ass woman. I know what I'm doing. Look, my husband had a full baby with the woman he was involved with for 15 years where I was cooped up only to be a show pony. Now I'm living my life. Honey. Okay, Miss Wendy, we see you, boo, okay? So my thing is this, okay? I, I'm not saying that Wendy needs to be with a 50-year-old man or a man her age because ain't nothing like some young dick bitch, okay? Especially when you ain't been getting in a while. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Some, some young dick will get you back right. But uh, you know what I'm saying? But good young dick will also fuck your head up. Let, let's keep that real. This dude is 27 years old, fucking Wendy Williams, you know, thick-ankled, flat-booty ass. Her ankles got more meat on it than her damn ass. So let's keep that real, okay? So you know he's putting in some damn work. He got Wendy damn sprung, okay? She's having fun sitting on that damn young peen. But this is still embarrassing. This dude is a felon. Like, Wendy, you can do better. I'm all for the young dick, okay? I'm, I'm all for it, bitch, okay? But why not get some young dick that's not attached to, like, a BE, a breaking and entry, and robbery with a deadly weapon? It's like, why do... It just seems like sometimes as black women... We just, not all, but you know, just some, we just tend to settle. Like, you, who is the 54-year-old white woman who's out here parading around with a 27-year-old felon? You know, it's just like, ugh. And then you know this was, y'all know damn well if this was anybody else, Wendy Williams would be dragging the fuck out of them. So I'm, I'm giving her the same damn energy. If this was damn Chris Jenner running around with a 27-year-old damn felon, she'd be like, Chris, you can do better, and you know, you're up here, and he's beneath... Wendy would be dragging the fuck out of somebody if the roles were reversed, okay? You know, so I'm not feeling that. At this point, I think it's probably just sex. She's happy. She got her little boy toy. And I'm not mad, but I also feel like she's at a level where she really doesn't have to date that far fucking down, bitch, okay? I'm sure you can find somebody who's younger who can sling that beef stick and, you know, they, they got a degree and they got themselves together, you know. So this entire thing is definitely interesting to me, you know. But I am happy to see her smiling again and, you know, feeling young. When I seen them poom poom shorts, I was like, honey, this big bitch is feeling herself, honey. 
Y'all know what he was as tall as she's like six two. Like she is you couldn't tell her shit. Them little ass cutlet cheeks was hanging out. She she was sashaying down the street. I was like, get it, bitch. <laughs> that young boy slinging that beast stick, okay? Wendy don't know what to do. What have we ever seen Wendy in some damn poom poom shorts? Like, come on, y'all. So, anyways, after that went viral, Kevin. Kelvin, whatever the fuck his name is, Hunter, he's not speaking out. He's feeling some type of way. Don't you tell people I done kept you in the house. Don't you tell people I made you a show pony, bitch. So Kelvin is speaking out. This is what he had to say to TMZ today. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So Wendy Williams' estranged husband, Kelvin Hunter Sr., says her claims that he kept her pent up at home are lies, and he adds she was too lazy to give a damn, but Wendy says believe nothing her ex says. Kevin is firing back at the beloved talk show host after she told us that she was cooped up only to be a show pony during their marriage. Sources close to Kevin says that that's a bald-faced lie. He claims her memory is just off. And the way Kevin sees it, Wendy orchestrated her schedule and chose primarily to do her talk show and go home. We're told Kevin feels Wendy didn't want to hit the red carpet event or put in any effort outside of her on-camera work for her show. A source close to Wendy is doubling down, calling Kevin extremely controlling and sneaky during the marriage, and nothing he says is the truth. When it comes to business decisions, sources close to Kevin, Wendy took Wendy a hands-off hands -off approach, approach and willingly, and willingly left, everything left everything up to her husband, her husband trusting, trusting him for 22, for 22 years, years to handle her, to handle her, her career. career. So for so Wendy's, Wendy's young, young new arm candy, candy, we're told we're that, told that Kevin, Kevin isn't jealous, jealous and understands, understands why she wants to go out and have some carefree fun. He does, however, take issue with Wendy saying that he had a full baby with the, with the woman he was involved with for 15, 15 years. years. We are told, we are told that he told caused that a gross exaggeration, exaggeration because, because he didn't meet his didn't mistress, meet his mistress <laughs> until 2008. <laughs> Bitch, that ain't no better. This fool said it started in 2008 like that's any better. You still were cheating with this woman for years, bitch. It's 2019. Like, okay, maybe she over-exaggerated a few years, but uh, you cheated and you had a baby with this woman. So where's the lies? That's what I thought. Anyways, this entire situation is a hot damn mess. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, honey. How do you feel about Kevin, Kelvin, whatever, coming out the woodwork, speaking on the situation? And how do you feel about Wendy Williams dating this young 27-year-old felon? Are y'all here for it? Do you feel like, you know what, that's her life. She can do what she wants to do. Or do you feel like if this was anybody else besides Wendy, honey, she'd be dragging them for doing the same thing? And then do you feel like sometimes as black women, we're quick to, like, you know, date down and, you know, make exceptions, you know, that we we shouldn't have to make you know hopefully you know this lasts but i just think she's here for the dick okay and i'm here to see her have a smile on her damn face because i know how that is it can be very very sad and depressing especially when you've been in the same marriage for years and you're going through a divorce and she just wants to let down her hair and have a good time and hang out so it's good to see her out there hanging out with the kardashians and black china you know what i'm saying and trying to live her best life but i'm gonna need her to get some bigger damn shorts okay so i don't want to see no more cutlet cheeks wendy get some bigger shorts and Cover that shit up. Them little chicks was like, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>